What it do y'all and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited to be bringing you guys this full face of Asian owned brands and makeup. I have some brands from YesStyle. I have a little bit of Kosas and quite a bit of Kofi. I pretty much will be trying now the last couple of items I haven't tried from Kofi and eventually I will be doing a full on brand review just because I've been truly impressed by that specific brand. But I don't want to talk too, too much because this video is quite long. If you're interested in seeing how all of these items in this basket allowed me to create this full face, then let's just get to it. Okay, guys, so I am stupid excited, like stupid excited to be doing this full face. This is a full face of basically all yes style brand products with a splash of some Kosas um, and then also some Kofi. So I have quite the range of Asian based brands and I did that because I felt like so many people when they talk about an Asian made or created and owned brand, they only talk about East Asian. There's definitely West Asian. There's so many different countries under the Asian umbrella that I wanted to kind of show some representation there. Um, I believe I did a video to this effect last year and if i did i will have it in my playlist which is the heritage month playlist so that you guys can go back in the event that you want to see but i just want to dive in because i probably talked a lot in the intro so yeah for referral let's get into it so first let's go ahead and start off with our primer i do already have my skincare on today's um sunscreen is the super group i decided not to go with the um beauty of Josen one just because it gives me a little bit more radiance and I wanted just a little bit more of a matter finish starting out so yeah we're going with this peach C peach glow makeup base I don't have no rhyme or reason why I chose this other than I believe this base product is touted to give you like more of a matte or skin like finish unfortunately on the packaging and on the box it's all in I want to say Korean it looks like Korean to me um, but yeah I don't know any Korean I at least know a bit of Japanese I absolutely know no Korean so we are just going to apply this on my face and as you can see it's a white base so hopefully it goes on oh my oh okay um i do have natural lighting in front of me and my ceiling light i may put just a bit more lighting on because i really want you guys to see what is going on there is a smell it's like a fruity smell but there definitely is one. I may have used too much of this product as well. I hope you guys can see the like violet color that comes out when I apply it or at least start to blend it out. I don't think it has a matte finish. It looks like it's more of a satin like sheen, like skin like finish, which I'm not opposed to. I just don't know how this base is going to do with flashback and stuff and then all of the other stuff. So we will see. Just trying to make sure I blend in all of this product. Okay. Okay. So it's looking good. It's looking good. Um, I don't see any particular part that I feel looks like shadowed out it may be shadowing out with that violet kind of iridescentness but we'll deal with that let me see if i can add a light or two and it will help because it just feels very cloudy even though it is sunny it's a little bit for noon though so i think the sun has already left my area um and it's going to the other side of the house okay i have all of my studio lighting on and it still doesn't feel very like bright and shiny but maybe the sun will come in every so often so i apologize i really wanted this to be a natural lighting type day but your girl did a workout in then i required a two hour nap to recover from that puny little workout another reason why i wanted to make sure that i did this in the day is because i'm going to be swatching and i need to figure out which foundation prime uh type product i'm using so i bought two because i didn't know online when they say deep I can typically use a deep 
shade but who knows what that even means so i got one bb morning ceramide tinted moisturizer which has makeup and your spf in this this is from the brand Hemish. Um, and I don't think I've said it thus far. Everything will be listed and linked down below. I do have an affiliate code with the brand, meaning Yes Style, and I do have an affiliated link as well. So if you shop through them, I appreciate it. Otherwise, no big deal. So this is what the product looks like. This is the Hemish Tinted Moisturizer. As it says, it also has sunscreen in there. And I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. All right, so that's not a terrible dark. For me, that's pretty much a solid shade. I can make it work. It may not be the perfect shade for me, but that's a shade that like pre-2015, the drug stores only had, and that's the shade I had to learn to make work. So that's the Himish shade. And then the other one I have is the Sisa Clear BB Cream, which this one is in deep warm. I think this one was just in 31 deep. So technically this has a neutral undertone. I think that's why I wanted to pick that one up, but I couldn't tell by the, sh the, sh the swatches online if it worked. Whereas this is the, oh, this is the Purito. So I've seen other people talk about this brand and I wanna say I've seen other people actually use this BB cream. And if I remember correctly, BB creams um, insinuate that you get more coverage. Um, whereas a CC cream is more of like a moisturizer, tinted moisturizer situation. So this is the Purito bb cream Ooh, yeah it is warm and that's it right there you see this is the purito and this is the himits himish 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 i don't know this one's clearly darker and this one's lighter and i'm trying to see I think I am interested in trying the Purito, but I think the undertone is just way off for me. I don't like such a warm undertone, but I will be trying this, don't you worry. I didn't buy it just for it to sit around, but I think today I'm gonna try this BB cream instead. So, now that that is decided, I'm just gonna take one pump which actually gave off quite a bit of product. And we're just going to apply it. Um, it looks lighter now. Maybe it's just me, or maybe it's the application method because I applied it with my hand before. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. And I'm just gonna press it in. I'm gonna try to stop at halfway so you guys can see what it looks like on my skin and what my skin looks like without it. Yeah, I think this looks perfectly fine. As you saw, I just pressed the product in with my sponge. This is my preferred method of application. And to be quite honest, I don't think you can really see the difference. I'm liking this so far, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do, I didn't want as much product, so I didn't do a full pump. Um, and I'm just gonna put it on this side. There's something with that scent. Oh, it's that base that has that like berry scent. <laughs> I just got a new whiff of it and I completely forgot it was that base. Okay. Okay, I think that my base looks really good. Let me get my camera to focus. Um, Don't mind that. That's like a... I don't even know what that is. I think I scratched my face and then I like unscratched it when I was working out this morning. I'll try to cover that up with like some rare beauty um, concealer. I just got to get it out of my drawer. But yeah, I think overall this is looking really nice. Very, very skin like. Um, and let's see, this totes to have UV protection, brightening and anti wrinkle products within how to use. It says gently apply a, an appropriate amount all over the face. Use at the last step in skincare routine or first step in makeup routine. Oh, so they don't even want you to put like a primer or anything on. Either way, I like it. I like it. It looks very, very skin-like. So far, we are off to a fantastic start with these two products. Although this one, I wish it didn't have that scent, but that's all good. Let me get the concealer, the Rare Beauty, to clean that up because I will forget. And then I do have a new concealer. Um, I just 
completely forgot to pull the Rare Beauty. Concealer. I picked it up from Kofi in the shade Faluda Fizz. So Kofi is an Indian, I believe, American-owned brand. And I tried one or two things from my Sephora haul. And ever since, I've been weirdly obsessed. Obsessed. And... I will get to the eyeliner because one of the eyeliner shades that I wanted is no longer mysteriously on Sephora, but it's on the brand's website. So I'm hoping Sephora brings it back because I want that shade. Anyways, this is the concealer in Faluda Fizz, like I said before, and they don't have a foundation. That's why I didn't pick one up from them, but this is looking good so far. This is pretty much the same shade that I normally get and I'm just gonna put a small amount this is the same amount that I put anywhere on my face and we're just going to apply it and let's see if I can get some information it says that it never settles for anything less than your main match okay I believe this is touts to have medium coverage. Um, but yeah, I'm just so, so happy to have been able to pick up some more products from this brand. Like I said, after that one eyeliner, I felt as though I needed to try everything from this brand. And sometimes there are those brands that you just feel that way. And this was just one of them. I don't think I have dark under eyes today, but... It feels like I need just a bit more coverage down there. I have been having difficulty sleeping though, so <laughs> it may be dark under eyes. We're just gonna brighten up this area just a bit more. Okay. And we'll be good to go. Okay, okay. I'm liking how everything is coming together. I think it looks really, really good. This definitely has some coverage to it. It may be like a high, medium, almost full, especially because I just put a little dab in those areas and it really, I feel like, blanked out those areas. So very, very happy about that. Now we have this bento box. I told you guys I was eyeing this bento box. This is from Kaja. This is an American version of an Asian brand or a K-Beauty brand. So either way, it's still like K-Beauty owned. And so I wanted to show it. I don't have a lot from Kaja. A lot of their stuff just doesn't ring true to me, but this caught my eye in my last um, new makeup releases. So they have a cream bronzer, which looks really, really nice. And it actually looks like it will do something to my skin tone. Then there is a highlighter beautiful and then there is a cream blush at least i believe it's cream blush it kind of looks more matte now in person um but either way i'm very very excited so let's just go ahead and start applying i'm gonna work with the cream bronzer which is in the shade marshmallow i think that's the name of like the whole bento box though um and i do apply my cream bronzer with just my sponge it picked up quite a bit so i know this is pigmented which is good for me i love a pigmented bronzer um and in just a second i will go ahead and swatch these shades for you all in the event that you want to just see what they look like on bare skin but that's it halfway on my face i think it looks really nice very skin like very natural it's not overly apparent but you can see the deepening of the areas where i applied the cream bronzer which is nice i think there's definitely a place for k beauty kind of styled makeup where it's not overly apparent everything that you put on your face but it just comes together in like a beautiful seamless effect and so yeah i really like this cream bronzer so far there feels like there's a hair we're gonna keep rocking with it okay um let me do the swatches now because i need to figure out if the cream if the cream bronzer is the only cream in this kit or if they all are. So like I said, this is the cream bronzer. And there it is. And this is 
I don't think they have individual shades. If they do on the website, I will just go ahead and put them on the screen for you all. Here is the highlighter, which this is definitely a powder. Definitely a powder highlighter. And it looks nice. It looks like a nice kind of basic bronzy highlighter, which sometimes you want a basic -y highlighter. Oh, are there? No, there's not a cover there. Okay, so then the top two are powders because they both had covers and the bronzer didn't. And this is the blush. That's quite pink. If you know me, I'm not a pinky girl. I'm not, but we gonna make it work. We are gonna make it work. So I'm gonna come back to this bento box now that I know the last two products are powder. And now we're gonna go ahead and powder my face. Now I have two powders. We'll see how they go. Okay, I have two powders. One once again from like an Americanized Asian brand and then one straight from yes style okay so the one from yes style is this one it is the perfect pour pack and it's white it was the only one i could find that like <laughs> i just thought i could potentially maybe get some use out of i'm very scared i'm very scared. it's white i'm very very scared this is there's no brand on it oh the sign s-a E -M. This will be linked down below by this name up here. So I'm very scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you up one bit. Then we have the Kosas powder that I picked up during the Sephora um, season event, whatever savings. And this is in the, sh the deepest shade. So I think what I'm going to attempt to do, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to set my concealed areas with this baby. And then we're gonna do the rest of my face with this baby. That's what I'm gonna do. This is really gonna be a huge challenge on all of these products, not to be, give me any flashback because I do need to take a picture after. <laughs> and I plan to do some videos after. So I also got this little puff um, from Yes Style. I think there were plenty of options where you could get like multiple puffs at a time. I just wanted one. I understand that this is like a huge craze and i figured if somebody wanted it but they didn't want to buy them from amazon this could be a site that works for you so i'm gonna try Whew. oh they tout i believe that this was supposed to be an invisible powder i think that's why i tried this one and yes you can see there is powder there and yes it looks brighter but i think that comes with the territory of this just being quite literally a white powder going on my skin tone i don't think that i don't think this is a bad powder right now we'll see we'll see how i'm feeling i mean one it has to it has either the puff or the powder has like a powder ish like you know if you have perfume and some of them have like a powdery like note this has like a powdery note to it i don't think this looks bad you can tell i have powder on yes but when can you not tell that i put powder on seeing as i'm combination oily you know um it's just gonna be a matter of if this presents flashback and if this can truly hold my oils which i have a feeling it's going to be able to because like it's not like people in the US or Eastern markets are the only one who are oily. Like there are oily Asian people. So I need to find their powders because they face, they be having glowy faces and still be looking bomb, even though they're combination oil. I need to know the secrets. I need to know the secrets. Okay. As for the other powder, hmm. I'm just going to use this huge brush from, I think this is a Sonia Kashuk brush, brush, and I'm just gonna kind of tap this powder all over it, and we're just going to press this into the skin. And I will go ahead and press over the powdered areas as well that I just did, just so that everything kind of has 
comes together. Okay, I am going to just use my setting spray very quickly. This is from Mana Kadar. I picked this up, I want to say a year ago, if not a little bit longer, from Ulta when they were still selling this product. Unfortunately, this brand no longer has this product. I have previously tried to link it below, but it's not available. And if memory serves me correctly, this is in... I don't remember the ethnicity, but I do know that that is an Asian American owned brand because I picked it up during Asian Pacific Heritage Month in a previous year. And you see how everything just comes together, seeps together. That is the beauty of a beautiful setting spray. I wanna come in closer. Let's go ahead and do some brows. I'm not gonna do the whole brow situation on camera just because it's unnecessary, but when I was shopping for those tinted moisturizers, honestly, I didn't wanna just buy tinted moisturizers. I wanted to get a couple more things to test out. And I saw another brow pencil that I wanted to give a shot. So if you guys know, I already tr picked up one brow pencil from YesStyle. And it turned out that it was quite literally great. And I made it work and I can make it work. But I wanted to find one. But I wanted to find one that you didn't have to make work, right? That it just worked. So this is in the shade Dark brown deep brown i apologize i think this brand actually had ash brown but maybe it was out of stock there were a couple of brands that have actually have had ash brown i just am never on the site when those products are available and obviously ready to purchase as well so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys me filling in one brow with this deep shade just so you guys can get an idea of what let me come in closer just so that you guys can get an idea of what the actual tone of this pencil is this is a harder pencil um i wouldn't say it's waxy i would just say the actual powder is harder not particularly something that i enjoy but some people may prefer it because they're used to that and then it's harder for them to like over um draw on their brows i will say though this shade just works better with my my brow hair like completely better so if you are somebody like me that you're typically reaching for an ash brown and you aren't able to find something or you want to find something off of the yes style site i would actually recommend this this is the pony effect shaping brow definer in the shade deep brown this just really looks like my brow hair color so i'm gonna finish doing my brows off camera i'm just gonna use the same tint brow that i've already showcased to you guys before and then I'm going to use my Too Faced Fluff and Hold as my gel and then I will come back. Um, I will also prep my lips because I don't have a lip liner. I don't think, I, I don't know. So I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution IRL lip liner and then I will come in so that we can finish the lips, do the eyes and we'll be done. So give me one second. Alrighty guys, so I put my lip liner on and now I'm gonna be using a oldie but a goodie kind of at this point. This is from Rowan and this is in the shade Vintage Ocean. This is one of their like water lip tint products. And what I like about this is that it feels very moisturizing going on. And it gives a slight color, but it's more of just a tint. So once the color and the like gloss goes away from like just having it on your lips or whatever, then you're left with just this beautiful, beautiful stain. And I'm going to put my lip product on now because I want to show you guys that stain. And then I will further add to that like stained glossy effect by adding a gloss on top. So to finally get to the finishing touches of this makeup look let's do the cheek products that i was not able to do earlier so first we're going to start off with the blush i'm going to use one of my favorite blush brushes which is the bk beauty a507 i really want to get another one of these brushes i think i already have two and i can never find them because they're always dirty that is a pigmented blush oh my goodness and you know what i've been interested in picking up like those bright pink blushes and i've been i didn't think that they would work for me this really works i must say it doesn't look as full-on pink as it did in the swatch my skin just warms it up you know i like it 
I like this tone. It looks more like a corally, at least to me. I'm probably lying to myself, but you know, let me lie to myself, shall we? All right, I like this. I like this a lot. It's really, really pretty. Now let's get a highlighter brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into the highlighter and just kind of brush my cheekbones with it. That's beautiful. Oops, I just highlighted that stupid mark on my face. But it's okay so I'm liking everything let's do the eyes this is just my about face primer um, I don't know I just didn't get an eyeshadow primer no need it felt like it did not feel like the need to get one okay and what I'm gonna do this is a brand that actually sent this product to me I've already done you know what they asked me to do for sending it to me and this is just the me to you nyc brand and i'm just gonna go into that darker brown i remember enjoying this product i actually need to review it for you guys um and i just want a nice matte on this outer v okay i think that's enough for now if i need to add some more i will but the main prize of this eye look is going to be from kofi again and this is one of their pot eyeshadows so i think i've seen somebody use them before in a video i honestly can't remember if i did it was probably lauren may beauty and this looks like a jelly much shadow from ColourPop. so i'm just gonna use what's in the pot with my finger and i'm just gonna apply it over the lid and just see how it goes not using a whole lot of product because i don't want there to be excess and i want it to blend out the way it should i think that looks fine but i'll need to do a closer examination with an actual mirror close to me to see let me see how it came out oh yeah that looks beautiful that looks beautiful and what i'm gonna do it's just pull from this me to you palette again and I'm just gonna pull a matte in there and if you didn't know this is actually an Asian owned brand as well and I kind of went through those details in the video that I did um, to showcase this originally so I will try my best to have that video linked down below and I'm just gonna do there's like a light bronzy shade in this palette and I'm just going to use that as an inner corner just to kind of get everything cohesive and so that my eye look just doesn't look so dark. And I'm also going to pull that same brush out again just to lighten up the edges. I like it. I like it. Okay. Eyeliner. We're going back to the Kofi. Now, when I talked about this before, I referenced how much I really liked it because it lasted. And I was saying how... It didn't fully last even though it lasted what I forgot to mention was that the day that it still lasted in my waterline my allergies were really making a show they were presenting themselves okay and so I was basically crying blowing my nose all day and there was still eyeliner left I have used this eyeliner since I love it I love it which is why I was in a funk because I could not find the blue one in stock because the blue one was not available anymore and like this is this is a banger so I want that blue one and as soon as it becomes available I will be picking it up I'm just gonna respray I just want to spray one more time okay I just like spraying periodically to let everything kind of seep in and I did put that like powder cheek products on after I sprayed originally so I'm giving everything time the lip product has started to dull down so let's go ahead and throw on my lip gloss which is from Hemish again and this is a really pretty like bricky 
orangey brown situation. I'll just swatch it so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, this is like sherbet orange. Okay, this is like Angelica Nequist orange. Okay, <laughs> we'll try it. Okay. Shearing it out, it doesn't look too bad. It pretty much looks like exactly what I have on. So not too bad there. I was a wee bit concerned, just a wee bit. Now, eyes, I need to do one more thing before we can do the last thing we need to do on camera and I can finish up my face off camera. Okay, I have a mascara to try. I've been trying quite a few mascaras. It's very unlike me, but when in Rome. So this is the Decilium Smudge Stop Mascara. It's supposed to give you volume, and this is again from Himish. So I bought quite a few things from Himish. Um, I feel like this is the first time I've tried the brand, but I went in. So this is the mascara packaging, very, very simple. It says long lash and volume, which is exactly what I like. I love that combination. I want both my lashes to be extended, but I definitely want some volume there. So I'm very excited. Let's see. This is what the wand looks like. So nice wand showing that it's going to be voluminous just by that wand. And let's see. This is a wet formula. I prefer drier formulas because then I don't make nearly as much of a mess as I'm making now. But as far as keeping my lashes separated and adding some length and a tinge of volume at this stage, it's doing well. It's not a whole lot of volume so far. I have only done that one coat, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Let me finish up the rest of my eye look. I'm going to put on probably another coat or two of mascara. Um, and then I'm going to also put on, well, no. So I'm just going to do one coat of mascara. Then I'm going to put on lashes. I also think I'm going to do some freckles today. So give me a second. Let me just finish up my look. And then we will talk about all of the items that I showcase today. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look and I feel like my skin is looking great. So basically all of the items that I tried today, I'm pretty much impressed with all of them. Nothing really I feel I need to really say, oh, I wish this was this, I wish this was that. I'm truly impressed by all of the products that I tried today. Um, the only tidbit, one, for the primer i do wish there was no scent to it that was a little bit annoying and then for the kajo bento box i actually wish all three were um cream i wish that all three were cream i really would have i feel like enjoyed this even more not saying i didn't enjoy it as it is now but i think like i would have enjoyed it a tinge more and now I actually want to consider trying more of Taja I know a couple people have been talking about some of their lip products and stuff so I may try more and as for the stuff that I picked up from in general from YesStyle I'm impressed when they say that it was deep it was deep I actually think that the foundation really does work for me there may be a cast going on on camera um, and I think that may be coming about from the powder. So I do need to do a little bit more investigating on that. But other than that, I think that this looks fine. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.